Hey, hey, everybody. It's the Review Revolution back at you again with the next in the DC Universe Wave 11 series. Today, we're going to take a look at Shark. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is the Green Lantern Nemesis Shark, or Green Lantern's Nemesis the Shark. And I have to say, I am familiar with a version of this character. Uh, I've got uh, I've got the one of the 2005 issues when Hal Jordan just came back. This is way before uh, this is way before Blackest Night, but um, where he actually you know meets the shark or, or fights the shark, and I don't think he looks anything like this. This may actually be a different version. I mean, this did, this series did come out last year, but um, but yeah, from. Well, we'll get into all that later. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> last look at the packaging. Again, last look at the DC Universe uh, uh, classics packaging. Uh, basically from wave one until now. So, 11 waves of the orange and red background. You know, don't have that anymore. Last look at it. Probably won't talk about it a whole lot anymore. But, got a look. Comes with the right leg of Kilowog, our collect and connect figure. Uh, the other figures that are in the set. Now we've already done the question with the left leg. We'll do the shark with the right leg. Uh, Dead Man, Cyborg Superman, John Stewart, Cad Matui, Steppenwolf, and finally we'll get a completed kilowatt. Uh, on his bio, it says Nuclear radiation led to the mutation of a humanoid monster known as the shark. The shark has increased intelligence and psionic power as a result of the mutation, but retains the species' primal predatory cravings. He can survive on the psyche of enemies as well as their flesh. The shark continues his sinister or continues his sinister mutation, evolving into a more vicious creature with every transformation. He recently joined the Reconstituted Society of Supervillains for an attack on Atlantis. Okay, well that explains why he looks a lot different. Uh, his first appearance, Green Lantern, second series, number 24, 1963. Uh, real name, Nun. Occupation, Predator. Base of Operations, Mobile. Special Abilities, Telepathy. Uh, telekin telekinesis, Matter Manipulation. Capable of projecting energy bolts. Able to fly. Can grow to gigantic sizes, enhance strength, speed, sense of smell, and stamina. Can breathe underwater. That's a lot for a for a, a regular shark to to have picked up. Wow. Um, but that's just kind of a quick look at him in the pack. We'll take a moment, pop him open, have a look, have some fun. Be right back. All right, everybody. Uh, welcome back. Thanks for sticking around. We've got uh, shark open and out of the box. And before I get too far into into the figure, I ran down the Green Lantern issue that I was thinking of. This is the uh, issue number five back in 2005. Again, just shortly after Hal Jordan had come back. And it's the Blackwater Green Death with the shark. And I have to say, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> that's a pretty great looking shark. Um, let me see here. Here we go. You know, actual picture of the shark attacking Hal Jordan. And you can tell. I mean, the bio, you know, specifically says he gets to some massive sizes. There you go. There's another really good view of how big he can be. And I think that uh, I think that uh, that this particular version of the shark is probably the one that I like the best. I really like this. Uh, had they kept this style of shark, uh, I think he really would have been more of a, uh, what is it, a killer croc kind of villain for Green Lantern. Uh, that would have been very cool, uh, considering how big he is. Uh, eventually, they may have even been able to do a, a collect and connect version of the shark. Instead, <laughs> um, I, can, I, can only, I can only call this figure padding, kind of padding the wave. He's got a bit of a loose leg here. Get to that in a sec. Um, yeah, really, when it comes to all the DC heroes and villains and characters that could have been selected, I mean, I know that, that there's been this kind of uh, uh, 
uh, trend to put arch villains together in the waves. Sinestro had already been done for Hal Jordan. So for Jon Stewart and Katamatui for this heavy, heavy Green Lantern wave, I'm sure they need to get someone in there. But I really don't think it should have been the shark. Um, in that particular issue also was uh, Black Hand. I think if they had put Black Hand in this wave, that would have been sweet. That would have been cherry. Um, instead, yeah, I mean, the shark... Just what a letdown of a, of, of, of a character. I mean, the figure itself... I guess going over the articulation, I mean, the head, as I mentioned before... There's not a whole lot that they can do that the ball joint does much anymore except just turn. Does twist all the way around, but you know, don't know how to do that. Twist at the waist, crunch. Again, it's a it's a basic body. Uh, twist at the uh, at the bicep, wrist, elbow, crunch. Like I said, this one leg is a little loose, so I'll have to put some nail polish or something on there to kind of tighten that up. But it comes up, comes out. Twist the thigh, knee, and foot. So the figure itself, not terrible. Definitely has a few places where it can improve on. The character, though, is what the real letdown is because the way he comes in this really n nice purplish kind of color. I mean, I like the, the colors on him. Um, and I do like the idea that he's got fins. And they're not just the reused fins from like Aquaman or something. These are pretty much original. He's got the larger fin where a cape would fit. And the fin on his head. You know, though though there are some, some little things on him that you know kind of make him actually kind of kind of neat. Overall, I think that if you're gonna do a shark character, I much rather would have seen the one from from that comic from the 2005 issue uh, than this guy. Though from the read-up, and again, I haven't really paid a whole lot of attention to some of the some of the stories lately, except for the Blackest Night, you know, I guess this would probably be an accurate representation of how the shark looks now. Uh, getting a close up on his face, I guess just to kind of go into it real quick. I do like on the eyes; he's got these very beady eyes, and you can see they've been painted inside with the with a little red dot. It's actually really nice. I do like that. Um, I also like that they've given kind of the ridges on the back of the head as well as on the gills. It's just how the head just sort of sits on or just kind of plugs onto what is essentially just a regular human neck. You know, it, it, it looks like he's got a bag on his head. <laughs> you know, it looks like he's wearing a rubber mask. And it doesn't really look like it's part of his body. And the, and the issue, you know, it, it really showed that, you know, it was, it was basically he didn't have a neck. The torso went right into the head. And that was cool. I really, really think that, uh, that again, if they had stayed with that style shark, Eventually, they could have done a connect and collect, or collect and connect, or build a figure, or whatever you want to call it, and really come up with something good. For now, he's just padding. They just needed an extra figure, and and even there, I mean, considering that this is also the wave in which we got question the 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 poll uh, winner, the winner from the uh, fans choice poll. I mean, there was Catman, and there was Ragman, Vixen. You know, there were several other characters that could have gone in here. You know, I understand why they, they probably want to save those. But, come on, Black Hand, would he have been that hard to do? Well, why do we have to get the shark? Um, he comes with no accessories. His hands are actually sculpted into fists, so there's no accessories for him of any kind. Save the leg of Kilowog. And actually, I think on the question, I said the question came with the right leg. Actually, the question comes with the left, and then uh, shark comes with the right. Um, I still can't help getting the feeling that I've seen this piece somewhere before. Somewhere else, you know, we've got a, 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 a leg very similar to this. I might be going crazy. But um, this has been the Review Revolution, saying rate, comment, subscribe, join the revolution, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.